Hi there, my name is Charles Wells Farnham Sipa. Welcome to another presentation on functions of complex variable. In particular, in this presentation, we're going to deal with exam examples of developing or getting a Lorentz series expansion for a given function. Now, say we're given this example. Given f of z equals to 1 over z cubed by z plus 1, determine the Lorentz series about the, sing the singularities z0 equal to 0 and b z0 equals to minus 1. Now, given such an exercise, first of all, we need to reflect and think about how a solution for each of these options should look like. Let's say, for example, let's take the case where z0 is equal to 1. We know that for such as a point, uh, if a function is developed around the origin, the Lorentz series would be of this form. Let's say a0 plus uh, a1 by z plus a2 multiplied by z squared and this continues to infinity and on the, on the negative side with a sub minus 1 by z to the power minus 1 plus uh, a sub 2 z to the power minus 2 and also this continues to minus infinity this will be an expression of f of z in power series expansion now on the other hand if z 0 is equal to minus 1 we know that the series is going to be developed around the point z minus z sorry, the series is going to be developed using the terms z minus z0. In this case, our z0 is minus 1, so it's going to be z minus minus 1. And this will give us z plus 1. So the form of the series will take exactly the same form, but in terms of z plus 1. So we have here a0 plus a sub 1 z plus 1 to the power 1 plus a2 z plus 1 to the power 2 and this continues to infinity. And on the other hand we have plus z plus 1 to the power minus 1 by a sub minus 1 plus z plus 1 to the power minus 2 by a sub minus 2 and also this continues to minus infinity. This will be the expression of f of z power series developed around z equals to minus 1. Now, now to develop, uh, to obtain this power series, we have got uh, two possible approaches depending on a given situation. For that, we need to remember the following. One, we need to remember the binomial expansion which in this case here we have developed it in terms of 1 plus z in other words our 1 plays the role of a and the z the role of b to the power n we know such that such binomial expansion will be convergent if the absolute value of b is less than the absolute value of a which is actually 
in agreement with what we, we see here. And on the other hand, we also need to remember the geometric series expansion, which in some cases we might use also in developing these power series. So geometric sum is given by Z, A0, which is the initial term over one minus Z, where Z is um, our common ratio R, in this case, that's one. Then we've got the power series developed this way, and this would converge as you know, when absolute value of Z is less than one. Now, starting on uh, this example, let's start the solution doing part uh, A. So we're given here that uh, f of z is given is equal to 1 over z cubed brackets z plus 1. From our initial reflection, where we said in this case here, the power series will come in terms of powers of z. Now, Given that situation, we see that in the denominator you already got a power of z. So we we'll need to focus on the second term here. And we try to expand it in powers of z. Then we can distribute this. In this case, this is what we're going to write. We write 1 over z cubed. We sort of pack this term here outside the brackets. And then what is inside the brackets will be 1 over 1 plus z. Now, what do you see here? We see exactly the expression we used to recall the binomial expansion. Now, I, I suggest that here we we take the the this expansion, we take it using the geometric series expansion, because doing the binomial would be just reproducing the formulas we, we saw it, but in this case, just to look at another way approach of this, let's use the geometric series expansion. So in this case, let's try to reproduce the sum of a geometric series expansion where the absolute value of z is less than 1. It would be more or less like this. But we see here that we don't have a minus sign, then which means we need to play around if we need to use this kind of a sum. And we know that if this is the sum this would come as a0 plus a0 times z plus a0 times z squared, and so on. Now, manipulating this towards obtaining such a development, let's write here 1 over z cubed, and then note that in the denominator, we have uh, 1 minus minus z. Now, looking at this, it suggests that uh, our common ratio, in this case, r, is equal to minus z. And uh, our initial term, which is a0 should be 1. So initial term is 1. Now we can now easily follow this pattern to obtain a power series expansion of this expression. And let's write this factor here 1 over z cubed brackets. Now mimicking that expansion, we say the initial term is 1. And remember that in a 1, when you multiply 
with any other number here it will get the same number so we would have here plus one times common ratio which is minus z to power one plus one times the common ratio minus z power two plus the common ratio minus z power three plus the common ratio minus z power four plus minus z power five and that continues to infinity now simplifying this we remove the brackets and distribute this term we get here z to the power minus three minus z to the power minus two plus z to the power minus one minus one uh, plus not plus yes we put the, an even number of negative sign here then we get plus then z to the power one and then here we put the odd number of negative signs we're going to get negative so we have here minus z to the power 2 looking at the signs here we can now guess that what will follow is plus z to the power 3 and that continues like that and this will be convergent for the absolute value of z less than one. In other words, this is absolute value of z less than one, but not that z zero equals to zero is a singularity. So we will be looking at the role of this function in the vicinity of z zero equals to zero. Representing this geometrically, we we'll get something like this. Where we've got a circular region of radius one, which is represented by absolute value of z less than one. But because the z zero is a point of singularity, then we also know that this must be the absolute value of z must be greater than zero so this inequality gives us the shaded region here which is in form of a punctured disk and that would be the region where our power series is uh, convergent i think up to here the first part of the exercise is uh, done now we can proceed to the second situation which requires us to develop this function the Lorentz series around z around z zero equals to minus one now we recall again that uh, Eddie Pitting reflected that and said that series must come in terms of z plus one Now turning to part B, let's write here part B, we still have z, f of z equals to 1 over z cubed brackets z plus 1. Now, noting what we observed at the beginning, reflecting on that this series must come in terms of powers of z plus 1 which means for this case B, we have the term 1 over 
uh, zipped in power minus one being a bonus because it's usually actually constant part of the power series so then we can write this expression this way z plus one to the power minus one and in brackets they save one over z cubed now i'm writing this this way conveniently because we need to do something here this z cubed needs to be developed in power series in terms of z plus one so how do you do that here we can now manipulate this z cubed this way add here one and subtract minus one and then in next step let's group this conveniently and write z plus one to the power minus one we are reserving this part outside the square brackets because it's already in form of the terms of powers which we need here which are z plus one terms of z plus one and then we need to multiply this one manipulating this one brackets we can rewrite this as minus one plus z plus one all this to the power three please notice here that in this part of the exercise we don't have even option but uh, to use the binomial expansion because this denominator is to the power three but in the in the geometric uh, sum with uh, the denominator to the power one then would apply apply the geometric expansion but in this case we're forced somehow to use the binomial expansion so what you do here let's write what is in brackets as uh, minus one plus z plus one In brackets all to the power minus three multiplied by z plus one to the power minus one so what we can do here inside here now we can take our minus one to be a and the z plus one to be our b then to the power n then what we can do we can now develop this in terms of um along uh in the way we know binomial expansion is done like we recalled it there so we write here z plus one to the power minus one then our a is minus one then write minus one to the power minus three plus our n which is minus three times minus one to the power minus four times z plus one to the power one plus our n minus three by n minus one all over two factorial minus one to the power minus Five, which is n minus minus two times z plus one to the power two plus we can continue in the second line say plus minus three 
which is our n minus 3 minus 1 minus 3 minus 2 all over 3 factorial times minus 1 to the power minus 6 multiplied by z plus 1 to the power 3 plus that continues to infinity. Now what follows after mimicking the binomial theorem this way, what follows now is the, we need to simplify the what is inside the brackets here before we can interact with this z plus 1 to the power minus 1. So we have here z plus 1 to the power minus 1 brackets. Now what we have here applying power uh, rules of exponents we can uh, let's put this the corner here we have my was 1 to the power minus 3 equals to 1 over minus 1 to the power 3 which gives us three negative signs which will give us negative then that will be minus 1 so our first term here is minus 1 and now coming here here with four we'll have four negative signs following exactly the same principle there and this minus sign there and then we'll get minus three brackets z plus one to the power one in this case here we've got two negative signs here for minus four multiplied by minus three like that will be positive 12 and here we've got five negative signs then we've got a negative sign here which is going to be minus then here we've got 12 divided by 2 then we get 6 2 derived from 2 factorial which is 1 times 2 so 12 divided by 2 will be 6 then multiplied by z plus 1 to the power 2 Before we can write that plus sign, let's check what's happening with signs. What we have here is got three negative sign minus five here, minus four, minus three. So we've got a negative sign there. And then we've got even number of negative signs. Then we're going to have a positive. So this term here is going to be negative. Now simplifying this, what we've got here, we'll have um, a three multiply by 4 multiply by 5 in the denominator here we've got 3 times 2 which is 6 6 then 3 times 2 3 times 4 will be 12 divided by 6 will be 2 multiply by 5 that will give us 10 then we've got here 10 multiply by z plus 1 to the power 3 plus dash to infinity then distributing this term here we're going to have minus z plus 1 to the power minus 1 uh, minus z 3 because it's plus 3 to the power z to the power minus 3 times z plus 1 to the power 0 taking this power a 1 plus that getting 0 that will be 1 to 3 there then minus 6 multiplied by z to the power 1 from 2 minus 1 there power 1 then minus 10 times z plus 1 to the power 2 and then that continues there to infinity so now up to this point we have now obtained our power series expansion of f of z in terms of z plus 1 now what have we we have this series convergent for z plus 
less than 1. Now, again, here, this z plus 1 in absolute value should be greater than, 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 than 0. Now, representing this kind of a situation, we would get a diagram like this, where the shaded region is the region of convergence. And actually, this, this circle is exactly the same circle which we had in the previous uh, part A, which was centered 0 as a z, absolute value of z less than 1 greater than 0. But what has happened here, the, our, our circle now is centered at uh, minus 1. Then we have this circle shifted to the left to be centered here at minus 1. And again, with a radius of 1 and this greater than 0. Then we've got the region of convergence represented by this represented region. So I think up to this point, we've seen somehow some techniques of manipulating this expression conveniently so that we get the, the kind of terms we want to develop our functions into Lawrence series. Others up to this point, thank you for listening.